That's your thumbnail. Yeah. Got it. Hey everyone, Miles J here, and today we're doing a special video with one of my favorite problematic guests, Thomas Hubbard! Hey yeah. everyone! We've seen the tweets, the messages, we've seen, we've seen everything, we've heard the sides. Moving on forward, we're gonna take Thomas on to a different journey, a journey of, um... Fuck me up. Yes. We're completely morphing him head to toe. Needs to be different. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Head to toe transformation here on Miles J Productions. Yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think you necessarily need to be in the beauty community anymore. Nope. Cancel it, like you're canceled. Yeah, I can't. Not even a little, little bit? No, no. That's oh. why I'm doing your makeup today instead of yourself because, you know. You no longer need that skill, so. Okay. First, we're gonna start with a nice base for her face, because we wanna get rid of all this texture and, um, you know. Let's get rid of all that ugly. Yes. <laughs> oh, you can use this one, too. This one's $200 fucking dollars. It's got gold flakes in it? Yes. Oh. Is it like cooling? Yes. Do you smell it? it so I do cool. smell it. I smell it when I open that jar. I was like, ooh. Mm. I know. I mean, honestly, it doesn't look bad. I mean, I'm obviously the one that reglues it, and that's why she gets a little, little gluey when she. I may see little dots right here, but yeah. besides that, like, she's pretty laid. I get custom to paste and installed. It's because I got the world's worst fucking haircut. I looked like Guy Fieri. You did. Didn't you post a picture? Yes, yeah. I looked like Guy Fieri, and on top of that, um, you know that kid from Recess? Mm -hmm. I looked like that kid from Recess. Oh, the little scrawny, no. nerdy one. Mm -hmm. I looked like the kid from fucking Recess. I was like, you know what? This ain't it, Chief. She was just gonna put the gold flakes all over the chin area and down the... Can you put that on your face too? What, the, 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 uh, feels, the flakes one? Yes, it feels so good. If you say so, you know. Might as well. I'm gonna try and feel crazy. You can have it if you want, I don't even use it. Don't, don't play. I don't even fucking use it. Okay. I don't, I don't even see it doing anything. Ooh, that actually It just feels good. Yeah. It's just the experience. So now we're gonna use Blur Pang. Apply it at it. the end of your skincare routine. That's all. Oh, I love. That's fake news. <laughs> I love peach scents. So, I wonder if this happens. Rub it into your skin, though. Oh, it's gonna be so Caucasian. Is it? There's oh a white. Oh my mask. god! Why do all Korean products do this? It even there's even a cast on my skin. Bitch. Girl. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Well, you're white, so. This was so relaxing. You know? I love being canceled. When you're canceled, you do have a lot of free time to reflect and. This whole month was just full of. Uh, Reflection and depression. Reflection and depression. Did you learn anything new? What did you learn? That I ain't shit. I think that my biggest thing for me was like trust with people, trust with myself and trust with other people. It's like not everyone needs to know your business. Not everyone needs to, um, thank you. You're welcome. Not everyone needs to like just know shit. And like on top of that, Mm -hmm. I've learned that not everyone's going to listen to what you have to say. Right. Not everyone's going to believe you. Not everyone's going to... And that everyone needs... Receipts. <laughs> um, but I think my biggest thing is like... How I was acting behind the scenes mm -hmm. was like... You know, I said this in my video. I was like, you know, even before all this came out, I was like already working on that because I had friends come to me and be like, you're messy. You're being a messy Judy girly. Mm -hmm. And it's just not the gig. And like, when you have people, uh, people that I actually fucking like genuinely care about being like, hey, we don't like this, this route that you're headed in. And we're kind of concerned for you, stuff like that. Like coming to me in a very positive way, like it, it puts things in perspective for me. And I'm like, okay, Maybe I am acting a little messy because my friends knew about the whole situation. They knew about everything. And then even more over when it became public, which I wasn't wanting it to be public, but mm -hmm. when it came public, it's like, 
it makes it even more of like a, yeah, you were being shitty. Cause it's just like, now that you have everyone saying you're shitty, you're like, mm -hmm. you're like, you really have to sit back and be like, well, if everyone doesn't fuck with us, then you know, my friends weren't crazy either. Maybe. I'm grateful for the situation because it's teaching me to grow. This is what we're gonna use for the face. Just something nice and clean to clean up that image. Okay. You need that coverage. This image really needs the coverage. You have to edit out when you push back my hair. I will. Now, how do you normally blend your foundation? Do you pat it in or do you yeah, swirl? I would like. Okay, so you really get in there. I'm fucking tired of this shit. I just fucking go in. Okay. And then if it like looks all streaky, I'll just go in with a sponge on top. I don't know. I feel a little rough doing that to your face, though. I'm gonna look 80 next year anyways. <laughs> so, do you have any more projects coming up? I don't know, I'm not really working on anything. I kind of dropped everything that I was working on for like my to mental health. Yeah, I was like, to focus on yourself. Like even before the scandal, I dropped everything. Like I literally canceled any collapse I was doing with brands. I, was, mm -hmm. I canceled um, a tour that I was working on. I canceled everything because I literally was like two steps into like a full on mental breakdown. Like we all joke about having a mental breakdown all the time, but like I was like, oh, I'm genuinely gonna lose my fucking mind. Like it was, right. you know, I, was, I went to North Carolina back home to kind of figure things out. I broke up with my boyfriend for two years, mm -hmm. of two years. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm, I just like things, like this isn't the life I want right now. Right. Like this isn't, the journey I imagined for myself, this isn't what is healthiest for me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I need to stop all of this and like figure something out because this shit ain't it. And then the drama happened because, you know, again, like it was just like, if anything, it was more the reason why I made that video was just because I felt like I had to. Right. And you know, the thing is like, if I had didn't say that subject, that example, because the thing is, that video, it was an example that I used. I could have used any example. I could have used the example of me saying the N-word when I was like fucking 13 years old. True. You know. You really could have went in. I really could have went in. But the thing is, like, I completely fucking forgot that I ever said that in I a mean, fucking message. Because that's a completely de different fucking person than who I am now. You know, I did a Foxy Hot Messes uh, podcast and I talked about the time that I said a racial slur to a Mexican when I was fucking 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And I discussed that and how that situation kind of paved the way for me to learn and do better. That person then was a white person using his privilege negatively. Right. Now I've become a person where I'm trying to use my privilege positively. You're aware. It sucks that that came out and now people want to label, label me as racist, mm -hmm. but I mean, I get it. Like, and it's mostly just white people calling me racist. I, tr I tweeted about this, like maybe a week after all this happened. Mm -hmm. I deleted it because it wasn't like the good time to tweet about it. Right. But I said, I would hope what I stand for now can show you that I'm a completely fucking different person. Unlike other people who haven't changed, I've tried to show some sort of change. Not like other people who haven't changed. Exactly, it's like, I'm not saying this shit no more. If anything, I'm using my platform, and I've always continuously used my platform, no matter how big or how small, to oop, use my voice for good and for change. This bitch is really big. I know, I love her so much. Isn't she so good? She is. Bitch, one, two, three, and you're done. I really need to get one of these. You know, and I, of course, I apologize for ever saying that, and ever thinking I had the right to ever say something like that. Mm -hmm. The face is set, and I'm gonna use a little bit of this water from MAC to really melt everything into the skin. So this is just going to melt away, covering the hairline, sorry. <laughs> this is going to <laughs> melt away all of the stress and the issues and really give your career a new beginning. And relax and just really want to blend all these spots away. Yeah, just... I'm about to fall asleep. No, bitch. Wake the fuck up. It's not Stay the time woke. to- Stay woke! What are we doing next? I guess eyebrows, right? That's your that's your thing. Oh, no. Um, contour. I do all that before I do brows. Oh, really? You do yeah. contour, highlight, mm -hmm. blush? Yeah. Okay. I try to avoid doing my brows as much as possible. It's kind of like, ugh, fine. Really? Now, I'm, now I'm here at a brows. 
I remember when your brows used to be like massive, you know? That was actually my favorite part of your makeup routine was watching you do your brows. My fucking, my brick brow. Ooh, I loved it. I don't know what it is about. You stand? Yeah. You do? I don't, it's just something about even You're the only one. On. Really? Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's a brow. That is a brow. Like you can see I put hair strokes and shit. Right, I live for that though. I actually, I just remembered, I had a whole vlog channel, like my vlog channel, I would stroke people's eyebrows. Like for real, for real. Like, like, I'd like fondle them, and like stroke the, stroke the brow hairs, and I'd be like, ooh. I don't know, just, it just gave me tingles. So, right, we're doing Ting contour. Grays. Ting grayish. Wait, can we try the parker girl on you? The parkour girl? The parking girl? The parking goddess? What? The tar parking goddess? Oh, Park Avenue? Park Avenue, is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, no, we're not doing that. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's not nice. Girl, these cheekbones. They're not real. These cheek... Um, fillers. <laughs> Yeah. These cheek fillers are it! You have to give me the name of your doctor. Cause I'm like... <laughs> I'm about to get my hairline done. Oh, I'm about that. Cause How far back are we getting it? <laughs> <laughs> are we talking like... No, girl, Google my... six head, or... I think it was Trixie Mattel that made that joke that her, her hairline started like two blocks down or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, mood. My forehead is... It's not even a forehead, it's like an eight million head. Can we get deep? Yeah, let's do it. Struggling with the eating disorder mm -hmm. for almost six years now. And it being the worst this past two, one to two years. Because mm -hmm. my eating disorder fluctuates. It mm -hmm. was like, my eating disorder like developed in different ways. So it's either anorexia or binge eating. Mm -hmm. So it just really depends on like where I was at in life. I was getting all these comments saying, you're so fucking fat now, shit like oh. that. And then I was like, okay, time to not eat. Mm. And, um, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Not only did I get a really bad haircut, but mm -hmm. on top of that, my hair was like thinning and like getting really, really brittle, brittle mm -hmm. and like always falling out mm -hmm. because I wasn't giving my body nutrients. Oh. Um, so that's why I'm also getting like, cause like my hairline was like, kept receding and receding. Like I'm 21 years old. Like I know I'm, I know I'm a caucasoid, but right. like. You're like, this is a little bit too, too early. Too early. My Christmas gift to myself was a new fucking hairline. That's blush. That's what I thought. I was hoping it. Ooh, this is pretty. Mm -hmm. Purple. Okay. Yeah, that was a choice. Okay. <laughs> Actually, maybe maybe I'll bless you like how I bless me. <laughs> I was right like, under your eye. Right there. Oh, I love that. I yeah. love that. Do that. Okay. Rebuild your hairline. Rebuild your new that's, career. Rebuild that's a new look. I'm just warning you. Okay. There's many terms for this. I just love a nice concentrated blush. I'm gonna use this big ass brush. What is this? This is a makeup shack. T7. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't blush on that sausage. No, oh, you're doing that it. thing. I've always wanted to do that. I don't know why I never like you're doing like that really pretty, like the stripe. Yeah. Yeah. I've never. You said you never done that before? Yeah, and I've always wanted to. I'm surprised know. you have it. You know I you know I'm pansexual, right? Yeah. I saw that post. I'm pan. How the fuck did you figure that out? Oh girl. Okay. Let's get before we before we talk about that, I also I still haven't figured out because there's like a battle or like a confusion thing between bisexual and pansexual. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people that identify as bisexual, they say, Well, I love people on the spectrum, like, you know, between you know, men, you know, like non-binary, trans women, trans men, like they can right. be with whatever. And and then they're saying that like pansexuality kind of like erases those kind of feelings that bisexual people have. And that, like people say that bisexual is only like men and women, like cis men. Oh, cis okay. Women. Yeah. So like there's like a thing, right? Because when I talked about it on Twitter, on Twitter, they were you like- You saw that argument happening in your mentions. And I was like, oh. Well, I just I just feel comfortable saying I'm pansexual, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, so I just want to disclose that I just like being. I'm like I'm just trying you, to you, making sure I'm not. I mean, bitch, I don't want to get canceled it. again. Right. But the thing is, mm -hmm. talking with a therapist and re, because you know when we have a lot of trauma and a lot of situations that happen in our childhood, we kind of put a lot of things in a box in a closet in our subconscious that we Ooh. choose to like not pay attention to because it's a survival mechanism for our brains and our bodies to do that. Right. Especially if we put ourselves in really, if our stuff, if we're, like especially as children, like a lot of us are put up in, put in fucked up situations and we mm -hmm. see a lot of fucked up things. I never 
properly got to develop that side of my sexuality because of situations that happened in my childhood. And, you know, I only got to really develop. But I remember as a kid, enjoying, and like, when I was hitting puberty, enjoying not only watching men and women and women, mm -hmm. but also like men and men and like mm -hmm. everything in between. Like I always, I never had a preference. And I think for me putting like, assuming that everything needs a label and that it's, if you're gonna like feminine things, you have to be gay. Right. And I think that's something that I've been dismantling also the past like few months and mm -hmm. the year where I'm just like, Oh, I wear makeup, but that doesn't have to mean that I'm just gay. Right. You know, what's funny about that is, because I think about that a lot when I come in, you know, contact with feminine straight men, mm -hmm. you know, because they, they kind of go through the same thing. Yeah. You know, about with their masculinity yeah. being questioned all the time yeah. and, you know, like their sexuality being questioned. I'm like, well, it's bitch, it's like... They're not gay. If they yeah. say they're not gay, then they're, they're not, not gay. gay. Like, and I've always, it. I was like, I always knew that. Like, well, if a, a straight man can obviously be feminine and like, so right. But then I'm like, but I can't. For me, I'm just like in my head. I'm like, well, I can't be feminine and enjoy a woman. Mm -hmm. And I always kind of like push that idea that away. But I always explored. For some reason, I would always explore my sexuality with like trans women mm -hmm. or trans men. Mm -hmm. And I never had an issue with that or like non-binary. I never had an issue with that. But when it came to cis women, I was like, but that's the, that's the line. Like yeah. that's the line. I never knew, I never understood why, but then kind of dismantling shit that happened in my childhood, like, and like presets and like, um, I guess, structures that was built in my brain at a young mm -hmm. age and like how I was raised and stuff like that, dismantling all that, I realized that it doesn't fucking matter. I'm gonna wear makeup and I'll date a girl if I want to. Yeah. I'll, date a, I'll date whoever I want. This is the Dior Skin Nude Undertaker. Luminizer, sorry, I read that wrong. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Just a little. Oh, you can just rub that shit in if you oh, want okay. to. Yeah. Ooh. This is the good cheek. It really is. All right, I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty's Snowflake. How many carrots? You have to really dig into that one to get any pay off. Bet, because I just swiped it and it's pretty much- um, Just glitter. It's yeah, just glitter. It's, it's just pressed yeah. glitter. A little bit of sparkle. My nose looks like a um a triangle. <laughs> yeah, it literally looks like a what's that? A villager? A villager nose? From uh Animal Crossing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like the <laughs> You're talking about the little boy with the hair? <laughs> what the is that? I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Taupe. Pay. And I'm just gonna draw straight up. So what I like to do is I I like to keep the bottom of the brow untouched. Do you need me to shave, shave off some of my brow? No, actually I don't. What I need, where did that brow brow gel go? Right here. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this to get the brows to go where I need them to go. Just get them nice and set and ready and prepped these lines okay so I just pull them up straight the fuck up okay and then I draw where the fuck I went to not on my watch not on my watch Ooh, you have really long lashes too bitch thank you okay they go this way I mean that shit happens you know <laughs> we can only have so many blessings shit happens. where's my <laughs> blessings at where, where are they <laughs> They manifest in different ways, you know. Well, I've, I've lost all my friends. I don't have any friends. Can I consider you a friend? Yeah. I mean, bitch, we here, are we? <laughs> <laughs> we here, are we not? No, but yeah, during this whole situation, I lost like, but it was mostly industry friends though. So people that you really didn't know that personally. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of people unfollowed me. A lot of people, I mean, yes, lost 40,000 subscribers. 
Let's talk about that. Let's talk about this culture of cancellation. Cancellation, yeah. And um, how no one has their own thought process anymore. Yeah, it's just, it's a little worrisome because although there is rhyme and reason to, at least in the beginning, you know, to why people end up getting canceled, I feel like no one is actually doing research, you know, or they're just, especially, mostly people are just hearing word of mouth. Yeah. It's all word of mouth. Well, the thing is, is like my shit, people, people that didn't even know me. Yeah. No receipts. I literally have no one else to talk to. So I just talk to people on Twitter. That's why I have such a good following and such good engagement on Twitter because that's all I fucking do. I don't have anyone else that talks to me or that spends time with me. And that got deep. But like, <laughs> but like, I have no reason to like be on Twitter RP. to, um, I have no reason to be on Twitter to like lie or right. do anything else. Um, so it, it literally could take people one Google search to figure out exactly what I stand for, my past and everything I've talked about in my career. Mm -hmm. Like it sucks even more that I'm literally a fucking human being just like the person watching this video right now. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I can't fuck up because I have a platform. I'm someone on YouTube. I'm considered a public figure. I'm not allowed to fuck up because I chose this lifestyle. I chose to be in the limelight. I chose mm -hmm. to, you know, it put myself out there publicly. I'm 21 years old. I'm still an idiot. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can barely, I still don't even know how to tie my shoe. Girl. <laughs> I still <How> <laughs> um I don't know how to do my laundry like I I know I know how to do my laundry but I always somehow fuck it up like I keep burning my blankets bitch what the fuck I mean it's my fault that I've made my life so public online for so long it's also a blessing in disguise because like I made my public my life public online for so long look at how much I've changed as a person I'm not a, I'm not allowing these circumstances to ruin my life. Right. Uh, because I know who I am, I know what I stand for, and I know that I'm a good fucking person, mm -hmm. whether people want to say I'm not or, you know, or not. I'm a good fucking person, and I'm always gonna sit here and try to better myself. And- No matter I, what. No matter what, and that's all I can do. And if y'all want to stick with me, stick with me. If you don't want to stick with me, goodbye. Period. 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 You can do ice. Oh, duh. Miss Peel Weaves. So now we're gonna use Peel Weaves. Or you can use this one. Whichever your heart desires. I know that one. I know. Let's try this bitch. Like that you you get your money's worth. Definitely. I'm just gonna use a little tiny dot. I don't know what you use. You use the splat brush, it's okay. You can use your finger to blend it on. Okay. That was hard. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so I definitely added a little bit too much to my hand. Okay. Use Miss Peel Wiss. Come to the sensitive eyelids. I'm gonna use this color. I'm gonna pack this shit in here. Oh yeah, girl, that's red. So I'm only putting this on the outer edges to signify um, placenta, which is new birth, you know? I'm gonna flare it out a little bit. Speaking of new birth, um, I remember... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where are you going with that? <laughs> I'm like, you got any kids? <laughs> gone. There was nothing. I was I was literally just talking. <laughs> oh wow, I'm actually getting some spammers. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny how life works out? Yeah, well, it's been like I've gained one subscriber. <laughs> okay. I mean, a gain is a gain, you know? Lose 1,000, gain one. Listen, what Gaga says, 100 people, people could be in a room, room. And, not, <laughs> and you could just need one, one does, and that was him. to believe in you. So I'm gonna try this. I don't know. Do you have sensitive skin? Yes. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this on your eye and we're gonna <laughs> see if it burns. So this is called Solaris and it's from this Ritual de Fil, which is like this cream based makeup company and basically they have like pigments in here that they use in rich craft. There is no, there is no. I like the packaging. Oh yeah, it's cute, right? Yeah, it's like little stars. Mm-hmm. I like that. I'm just gonna apply this to the center of the lid. 
very sparingly because it is a cream. I do not want to fuck around and fuck the base up. So we're just patting it. But I like to add another layer of shimmer on top of that just to like make it that shit adhere. You're not allergic to glitter, are you? I was afraid I'm gonna go blind. Okay. That's rational. <laughs> That's a valid fear, honestly. Like I don't I don't use what's it called? Industrial glitter. Like that's never put we're when using I see drag queens put press glitter. When I see drag queens put oh that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Use that one. I see drag queens put fucking like craft glitter on their face. I'm like, you're braver than US Marines. Yeah. They will go in like Martha Stewart right there on the high point of the cheek. They said, bitch. I'm that girl, and it looks gorgeous, but like, I'm just like, be careful when you wash that shit off, girl, because that could turn into a, a deadly exfoliant real quick. So I'm gonna apply this little bronzy gold right there to the center to really center her new energy and her, her new look. This is the first time I left my house in two weeks. Oh. Well, thank you for seeing me. Because <laughs> I've always been scared that if I don't be on social media 24-7 that I'm going to lose everything that I've built. Mm -hmm. But then I see people that won't even post for like six days and then they get like a million fucking views on a video or something. I'm like, how do you do that? Girl, energy, the stars aligning. Sometimes it's all about timing. It's really what most of YouTube is all about, I feel like. Because I feel like you... You've done a really good job at like keeping your personal shit personal and then like keeping your social media shit, social media shit. Right. And I'm like sitting here like talking about pooping myself <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, I've talked about really personal shit. Like I hooked up with a guy in Korea, you know? That story time <laughs> is the best. That one and when you um, I slept with the Uber driver. Oh yeah. My favorite fucking videos from you. Uh -huh. No. The one where you explained when you got fucking gum in your hair. Oh no! Yeah. Anytime you do like those paint, the MS paint mm. fucking, <laughs> so fucking funny. Bitch, those videos take so long to edit too. It's so... Just because of the fucking stick figures. I remember I was watching it with Kevin, my ex-boyfriend, and mm -hmm. like, screaming! When you're like, and then like, I think there was like a part two where you were removing the gum from your hair. Yep. I was like, I was so mad. Y'all, like, it, it it just feels so And that fucking, wig looks good. It is good. I mean, she's dry now, but like, I was so fucking mad. I was like, I came out here to have a good time and I'm feeling very attacked right now. And it was so random. It's literally someone just two seconds. If that happened to my toupee. And it was so quick. I couldn't, I, I literally looked around and I, it could have been anybody, mm -hmm. you know? And that was the worst part. And I was also inebriated. So it was, it was, um, it really was a moment. <laughs> if that's my toupee, it'd be over. Oh, honey. And, and that's the thing. It's like, like it's over. Like whoever I see is going to get hit. But then I'm looking around. I'm like, okay, well, where am I throwing this punch? <laughs> Who? Who is responsible? Like, and I, I even went into the bathroom, in the men's restroom, and I was like looking around. I was like, I don't even know if it's a woman, a man, like where, who, could have been anyone. I was so paranoid, but at the end, I was just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm in this fucking club with these people, with my friends. I'm not gonna make them fucking leave because I got gum in my hair, and I was like, it's okay, it's fine. I'll let them know gum is my fucking hair and I'm gonna have a fucking good time. Anyway, god damn it! Let's just put some fucking lashes on you. I normally put like a dark shadow on the the lid so that way so that way like the the lash line kind of blends. And we're back. Lashes are on. Barely. Alright, I'm gonna put a little bit of this sugar pill doll up. It's a um, cream sickle scent. So I'm just gonna. Oh, this is actually really pretty shady. Mm. My chapped ass lips. Oh, yeah, that's cute. I'm gonna do this. Ooh, fuck. Oh, yeah, that's cute. I want that Thomas Hopper signature fish lip. Oh, I love the lip more. Doesn't I, matter. I can't. We could still do a. <laughs> we could still do a fish lip. 
that one. Mm -hmm. There was a... Um, I love that close-up when you had that blue lipstick and it was just your lips and your... Yes. Oh, God, that, that gives me a headache. Does it really? Yeah. Um, there's a Twitter account. Mm -hmm. Someone, it was a, it, it was a troll mm -hmm. that made a hate account about me. Like they used an ugly picture of me and then they, their header was a fish. Oh no. And the, <laughs> and the bio was something about fish lips. And I was like, oh my God. I think that should give you a little bit of moisture. A little bit of shimmer, a little bit of shine. I look so, I look innocent. You do. And that's the, that's the new look that we're Oh, doing. right, we're rebranding. Right, we're rebranding. <laughs> we have a new style for you today. So take off that leather jacket. Okay. I'm gonna go grab something for you in the back. Here we go. I've never put a wig on top of a wig before. Oh, you might need a bigger one. Girl, you'll be fine. Hold it right there in the front. Put your fingers right there. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, egg. Yes, egg, baby. That's about to be all kinds of lifted. I don't know how to feel about this. I, this is too much. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't. I really don't know how to react to this. You look more like an anime character. Oh. Is this hairstyle for me? I like her. It's a new look. I mean, whose man's? <laughs> whose man's is this? And boom, you look sweet. I think you're ready to become a cooking YouTuber now. <laughs> Miles, I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is weird. Just say yes. <laughs> Period. <laughs> What about a wet hair look? Oh, wait. Oh, wait! I just wish you could hide this. No, it's not. That's your wig. That's <laughs> your... That's your tube. I mean, I'm not. That's a look, or is that... That is a look. Is it a look? Yeah. Is it a good look? I like it. That's my look, so of course I think it's a good look. Yes. She's a chef. Chef Wardy. Wow, the two two thousand seven called. And that's it. This is Thomas's new vision. This is the new you. How do you feel about it? What is, I mean, we've revealed it. I mean, you've seen yourself. Um, what do you feel about my work? I love the makeup. Thank you. Love the hair. Thank you. This with a different top would be really pretty. Like, yeah. Like a white top, oof, this was white. Oh yeah, that would've been it. If the fact that I didn't have another wig underneath this wig, mm -hmm. and this was a little and bit flatter, the, yeah. this would be a fucking look, low mm -hmm. key. Not even low key, kinda high key. Yeah, that's one of my favorite wigs for a reason. Like, you can part that bitch anyway, and she just, it just melts in with your skin. I look like I'm about to, where am I about to go? Um, to Anime Expo. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I actually like it. Okay, good. Now I can start my YouTube career over. Yeah. As a fresh and brand new chef. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been me, Miles J. Please make sure to unsubscribe from Thomas. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye.